Sophie and Chloe's room has gotten a little cramped. So we are going to make it bigger. Using a large cardboard trifold, paper, toothpicks, some of our previous box rooms, and glue. I start by cutting off the sides of the trifold. Cover the center of the trifold with paper for the floor. Take the leftover sides and cut them. Cut out a door. Trim down the cutout from the door. Cover everything with paper. Glue toothpicks into the cutout for the door. Push the other end of the toothpick into the frame of the door. Then glue the cardboard wall onto one side of the floor. Pushing the other end of the toothpick into the floor to separate the space and make two rooms. I make another long piece of covered cardboard and glue it down the center to create three rooms. We have two large spaces on the sides of this wall and then another one on the end. The room on the end is long and narrow, so we can use this space as a hallway, add our doll wardrobe to make it a closet, or a tub in our moss mat for a bathroom. Now we're going to use this large space to set up Sophie and Chloe's room. I bring over the furniture from their old room, like their desk and stool, the bed from our doll tumbler room, the bed from our doll galaxy room. I repaint the dresser that we made in a previous video to match the room. Add art, like cutouts from magazines, the marquee stars from our doll galaxy room. We even made a large letter D. I used watercolors to paint a unicorn to go above Chloe's bed. Add a few photos, a dream catcher keychain from one of our Fabs and Besties. I glue a few rose buttons to the wall to hang jewelry on. And actually, I would like to see the whole unicorn, so I am going to replace this with a new painting. I place a few items on the desk. And of course, Chloe is going to need a model horse. What do we have here? Perfect. Now let's do some work on Sophie's side of the room. I add a few shopping bags, glue some covered cardboard to the walls. I glue an artificial plant into a bead, then glue it to the shelf and the wall to support the shelf. For the top shelf, I use one of our paperboard books. Now I can add a jewelry box, some movies from our toy store, a few books, and a camera. I move the stars to be above the dresser so I can put the constellation above the bed. Add some Christmas lights, place makeup on the dresser, and Sophie is a total fangirl, so she might have a spaceship on display and a stitch Zoom Zoom. Aw, it's too cute. Too cute. We add a trash can, a clapboard because Sophie hopes to make movies, and our guitar from a previous video. Even though we all know Sophie is musically challenged. Add the ottoman poof, and I'm starting to miss the window that used to be right here. So I'm going to carefully cut it from the old room and tape it onto the side, which allows me to extend the space even more, completing Sophie and Chloe's bedroom. And be sure to check back for part two when we decorate the room on the other side of the wall. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to Mandy Van. What's up? Ah, just gonna get comfortable here. Sophie, why are you always on my side of the room? Well, because I don't have my own side of the room. Well, what do you call that? Wow, where did that come from? Fly.